So hello everyone and welcome to the test world of Where is Gavin, that sweet volcano in the distance. And there's been a lot of changes added, you can see all the cool new trees, the rocks and the shipwrecks. I don't know if that was in the last build that I showed, but what we're going to show off this time is something a little bit more interesting. I'm sure you've read it in the title of the video, so we'll just go ahead and we'll start making that. Now I'm going to have to put some of these down first. Now these are pretty cool, they're batteries. so. We can use these to store up energy for use later on because during the daytime uh, the solar panels will work, but obviously at night they won't. So what I'm going to do is just going to arrange some of these because you can see the arrows dictate the way the power flows. Just to show you that we can, they take one input, but they give three outputs. So what we can do is we can take some of these cables here. They start off as glass when they're not connected to anything. Then once they connect up to stuff, they'll go red to show you that they're now connected so we'll just I'll see this is why we went and got the shotgun so I'm in cloud build mode there we go let's get rid of that pipe so what we can do here is show you the difference between the power levels of the various machines and how quickly they will charge and uncharge depending on how many things that they've got connected to them so this one's got nothing connected this one's got all three and this one's got two so that one with nothing, will, it will retain its charge forever. So what we'll do is we'll just add another one onto the end of that. And we'll just pull off this and start charging these bad boys up. So let's make a little bit of a cable thing because they it's got a cool little um, light up malarkey when you attach the solar panel. So there we go, we'll attach the solar panel. And then there we go, it's starting to generate power. Obviously it'll only generate power during the day. Now, you'll see that this one in the middle is feeding these two on the edges. So they're going to charge up a lot faster because it's connected to three more outputs. So it's trickle charging these two. So these two on the edges will charge up relatively quickly. This one on the right, will there we go, will charge first because it's got less um, drain coming off it, less things draining it. And then this one will charge and then that one will eventually charge. I'm just going to go to shoo. Shoo! Shoo! And these these guys are gonna be. Oh, damn, he's taking a pound. Pound in. Oh damn, he hit me. Yeah, they they'll drop scrap. So these guys are gonna be the main source of scrap on the island. I'm sure he dropped two. Never mind. So like now we've got these um, connected up, we can destroy the solar panel and we'll show you how quickly they'll lose their charge. Um, obviously this is just so I'm not waiting around forever during testing, so they do lose their charge, but there we go, that one in the center has gone already, gone down to half charge, and, and as soon as they lose their charge you'll see the cables behind it have gone back to red because they're no longer getting powered. So we'll just wait for these two guys to go down. And what we can do in the meantime is I can put down some of the cool new machines. So for example, if I pop this one here, the bandsaw, now now they need to be powered. You'll see that, oh, yep, yeah, it's, uh, it's lost power, so we can't use it. So let's put another one down over here. And you'll see no, we can't use that because it's low power and the blade's spinning much slower than this one. It's really romping round. So that one's eventually going to lose um, lose its charge. So we'll quickly put a recycler on the end of this one. Just so we can go over and just demonstrate that in a minute. So what we'll do is we'll get the, the menu up and you can see just in the corner there that it's still yellow. Now it's gone red and you think, oh, well, I've got the menu up while the block's powering down. I'm going to cheat the system. Hey, no, 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 my friend. That is not how we've coded up this system. So there we go. It's going to power off. And it kicks us off the bandsaw. And now we can't use it. Same with this one. And then even though the recycle works differently, let's see if we can get a, a better angle of the... the st no, better angle of the stuff. Let's go a little bit like that. There we go. So the right recycler works differently. You recycle stuff out your inventory. So you'd eat the coconuts and banana peels and then use the, the banana peels. But we need much more than that to create soil, which is we use in the planters to 
plant the trees, they're not trees, the banana plants, so that's how you get your bananas back. Um, and we've also got a cool little bucket, I'll show you the bucket and the cooking station as well at the end of this, so we'll just show you that. This is going to kick me off the screen once it runs out of power. There we go, and then I won't be able to use that again until we've powered it back up. So that's a brief overview of how the power system works. We do have other types of cables, so as you can see, this one is a, a T-junction, so you can use these to put power into the same line. So this is an output line here, so if I just pop that there, you'll see that when I attach a solar panel to this, there we go, and it goes both ways. So you can also attach another one, and there we go. And then you could you could have um, more pipes coming off this. I'm going back to the various machines. So if we get a T junction again, we can use it to make a corner, and then we can feed it back down to the bandsaw, like so, and now if we destroy this section here, it will stay powered because it's being input from the other side. Oh, you lot again! Come on! Crap. So all these little red squares and things that you see bobbing up and down around them, they're all just in editor stuff. Uh, it's just easier to show you. And as you can see, it's going dark now. And so these will emit light during the night. Hey, hey. So let's talk about the cooking station and the changes with that. So now with the cooking station, if we get one of those campfires, it's going to need a campfire underneath it, otherwise it won't work. Um, and we'll grab a cooking station. And just show you. So, you just press E on it or right click, nothing happens. But if I were to hold, say, a bucket, now we can take some sand, put it in the bucket, add the sand to the pot, it will cook away for a while. And then once it's finished, we can get a piece of glass out. And then the same with water, so we can go and get some water in our bucket. Another one of you fellas! Put that in there, it'll bubble away. And then if we take a barrel, put it down next to it, we can take that sea water, that uh, fresh water now that we've just created. Oop, let's get up on board and put it in our, bu our barrel. It's a bit dark so you can't see it. Do I have any, any torches? No. But yeah, that's how you make fresh drinking water. It's not going to have a nice glug out the barrel. It's not full yet, so you have to make several trips. But yeah, that's pretty much the main crux of the, the update now. So you see that night's fallen, so pretty soon these solar panels are going to stop generating any power. Will you lot smeg off? I should be able to. Can I make crap torches in my pocket? Yeah. yeah, I should be able to make some torches. There we go. So I can hold up the torch as well now while we have a look around. And eventually the uh, solar panels will stop generating power. Look at that lovely, lovely darkness. You can see in the top right, the top left there, it still says is day. Look at the sun going down below the horizon there. And, oh, it's just so, I think it's such a pretty game that I've made. It looks really, really cool. You can see all your little glowy lights. There we go, solar panels have shut down. So now we can't use this bandsaw because it's not on the main grid. And this is now feeding all the other ones, so it's going to gradually lose power. And then the other ones will gradually lose power too. So. Yeah, that's it, pretty much. Um, other than a bunch of other mechanics like the planting of coconuts and bananas and watering plants and things, you need to do that now, but I'll go over that in a different 
a different video, I think. So, yeah, that one's shut down now, so it's no longer trickle charging the other ones. And then uh, they'll eventually shut down too. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little look at um, Where is Gavin? Um, if you do want to help support the project, any and all donations through PayPal are appreciated and encouraged. So you'll find the details in the description. Um, and if you want to get your hands on it, um, anyone who contributes to the project, I'll send them a uh, the build that I'm going to be sending out to the testers in the next week or so. So um, I hope you do choose to like, subscribe, help support, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll see you with the next updates. Get some light on the subject.